selfers. I uh, thought I'd make this video because I came home the other day to find my refrigerator completely dead. Well, I doubt the compressor was bad, so I dug a little deeper and found this lovely microcontroller that runs my refrigerator. So it runs from a computer. Well, lo and behold, the power supply is dead. Well, computer's not going to run without power. I don't have a schematic for this board. And it looks rather expensive, so I decided to take a quick look at it. And if you know what you're doing, you can figure things out pretty easy without a schematic. So here's our power supply section right here. Just your standard basic switching power supply. There's a 1 to 1 transformer here just to isolate the 110. So it's still 110 on this side. There's your four diodes for a bridge rectifier and your two big capacitors. So now you've got, you know, 90 some volts DC there. Then there's the secondary transformer and that all that for the low voltage part. Now, what's in between <clears throat> this one component right here? This is the main switch that switches this high voltage DC through this transformer as pulsing DC. Well, there's only a couple other things. There's an optocoupler that drives it. Doubt that's bad. This is most likely the culprit because I see some funny markings and deposits on the underside where it looks like some water may have dripped on it. So, rather than spending $200 or plus on a new board from GE, and by the way, thanks guys for completely over-designing a refrigerator, I think I'm just going to replace this little $2 component. So that's what you could do by just simple observation of a circuit if you know what you're looking for and don't have a schematic. 